Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey, you know what it is, your weekly podcast in the Sakamichi series, auto groups, Minogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. This is season three, episode 41. Uh, this podcast is recorded every Tuesdays live over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash slope club at around 7 p.m. Pacific time. And I am Jimmy. I'm one of your hosts. I'm joined as always by my friends and my fellow hosts. We have Boy Boy Kuhn and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. What up? How's Yo. it going, fellas? How's it going? It's going okay. Going all right. It's going mm-hmm, all right. Mm-hmm. Had a midterm earlier. Oh, sounds like fun. I have one on Sunday. I have one <laughs> so next. I, you. next yeah. I have one on Monday. Mm. We, all, we, all, we all there, dude. <laughs> uh, it's, it's midterm season, you know, halfway, halfway mm-hmm. through the semester. And um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was all righty. It was all righty. Oh, poggers, my professor extended the midterm until the end of Friday. Let's fucking go. Oh. <laughs> well, there we Let's go. Let's go. Well, you already did it, right? No, no, the, for the one for tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, okay. Usually it'd be like, it, it'd be due at midnight, the same mm-hmm. day. But now it's due. And like, for, yeah, Friday at midnight. So that's cool. Well, there you go. It's it's nice having a Discord for your class. You just check, you know, professors that's, there. That's so wild, dude. That's that's right, cool right. because it's like you're already on Discord. You have to go out of your way, right? Because yeah. that's that's me right now. Like I have to make a mental note, like, uh, well, not not mental anymore. I'll explain it in a second. But I have to actually make a note to myself. Hey, check the website daily because oh, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like it's not you know it's not like ingrained into me like Twitter is or Instagram and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, I just I just made a separate account. I'm not like my classmates would be like playing Call of Duty and <laughs> shit. You like on the <laughs> side, <laughs> and they're like, and their handles are still, <laughs> yeah, their their handles are still like you know their gamer tags and shit like mm. that. <laughs> this person hasn't submitted his test. Weed Lord Four Twenty Blaze it yeah, has dude. submitted their assignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, so, same shit. Well, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I mentioned I no longer have to uh, set mental reminders for myself. Because I mentioned last week, uh, I, got, I got my Apple Watch. Right? Um, and initially, I was, I was mainly just here for like the, the fitness tracking aspects of it, which, was, which have been nice. But then, you know, I, I feel like if I'm going to have it, I should try to figure out everything I can use with it. I, I, I feel like just having, like, the, the ease and accessibility of being able to be like, hey, Siri, set a reminder to check Moodle at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Done. <laughs> oh, done. There you go. <laughs> uh, right? It's like, oh, okay, cool. So then, like, yeah, so, like, you know, tomorrow morning I'll be like, Doing whatever, reading, you know, probably like checking Twitter, check, reading, like looking at Instagram, and then boom, my phone mm-hmm. be like, "Hey, you should check Moodle, you dumbass." I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." Uh, you know. Siri, thank, uh, thank you, Siri. Conversely, that's all I use mine for. <laughs> Just oh. for <laughs> fitness tracking. Uh, mm. Look, I got no goals done today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. No goals. You know. how, how many steps you at? Two. Uh, I'm at two. Yeah. <laughs> when I stood yeah, up from bed and I, sat. I, 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 I just fucking sat here all day. You know, uh, you know the, there's like the thing people do with like Apple Watches, right? They try to complete the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it like a challenge, you know? Yeah, complete your rings, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I, have a, I have a heart. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah. That's I think it helps for. for me to help because like I'm, I'm a type of person that is generally pretty sedentary all day, except for like bouts of, of activity. Mm. Right. So it's like, I'll be doing nothing. I'll be sitting at my desk all day or I'll be in my bed, like reading comics or I'll be checking Instagram or Twitter. And then I'll be like, okay, it's time for the gym. And I'm active for like two hours, go mm. home, chill. Ah, uh, shoot. I should probably go for a walk. Okay. Go walk for half an hour. Those are my two bouts of activity for the day, but the rest of the day, it's just nothing. 
you uh-huh. know? Uh-huh. And it's like, okay, so it's still decent. Like, I would, I could still fill my rings that way, right? But then, like, I think having the, the tracker kind of, like, lets me see throughout the day where I'm at. And I'm like, oh, shit, I haven't, it's been hours and uh, I haven't yeah, done yeah. shit, dude. And so that's kind of <laughs> nice. So it's like, even, you know, even if it's not, like, as serious, I'll, I'll like, stop, get up and take, like, a 10-minute walk or something like that, you know? And doing that throughout the day, I feel, is, like, a little bit more um, meaningful in the long term than, like, mm-hmm. doing nothing mm-hmm. all day except for a couple times, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Mine gives me the mm-hmm. reminders, it's time to get yeah. up. I'm like... <laughs> See, when I had my smartwatch, I was just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> just like... Yeah, yeah. I just sit there. <laughs> That's oh, what I'm actually worried about, is that, like... This this initial wave of like enthusiasm is gonna wear off, mm-hmm. right? Like all it's all it's gonna take is like something to like break my my cycle, right? Like well, like well, we're gonna go hang out this weekend, yeah. And then like I, I can't go for a walk now. Shut up, watch. <laughs> sorry, you know? sorry, Josh. I'm, I'm going to walk right now. Yeah, yeah. And then but then like that's fine. And then one day, and then so then the next day, and be like, ah, oh, fuck it, dude. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then like you know builds on and it's like well now you don't do any of that shit anymore yeah Rip. but it, it's nice because you you wear it i think so it's kind of like always on you uh, it reminds me of like when everyone got like we fit for the first time decades ago you know yeah. and everyone was like losing weight and it's like it's not because we fit is revolutionary it's just that it like held you accountable right because every time you turned on the game it like you have to check your mm-hmm. weight you have to check your you know everything like that and so it's like yeah. okay that's Practicing mm-hmm. mindfulness, right? I think yeah, is exactly. the term. Giving like a it's, purpose uh, to it. Mm-hmm. It's getting cooler now, so I, it's not as bad. I can yeah, yeah, it again. definitely helps. Go I, out I, and run again. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I think that's because like, why like why I would be like not as active before it was so hot. So I would, like to me, it'd be like uh, I don't want to just go for a walk. I'll go to the gym, and if, but if I'm going to go to the gym, then I should like you know do at least like a thirty minute walk or something, right? Whereas now it's a little bit cooler. I can okay. like much easily take like a ten minute walk around it's, the. It's nicer the to walk neighborhood like, outside mm-hmm. than on a treadmill. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I've been yeah. uh, I've been using that time to like read a book. <laughs> mm. I finally finished the book that Josh let me borrow. <laughs> it took me like two months to read, <laughs> but I, I, I made it. it. <laughs> uh, it was good. It was good. The um, ending like like just caught up right, and it's like oh. Yeah, it's, it's all like, like here. Oh, oh, oh should it end? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh-huh. But, well, I went the opposite route. I got a a regular old watch instead of a smart watch. Yeah, classic analog. Classy shit. it Let's up. Let's go. Oh, I'm uh-huh. aware both. Right, Let's so... go. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's, that's what I said too. I was like, all right, dude. I got two. I got two wrists. Let's Why go. Not? I don't have my other one. <laughs> we can be, uh, you know, we can be uh, down with technology too, mm-hmm. <laughs> and still be. <laughs> Old. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is the boomer hand. Oh. This is the young hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's boomer zoomer. Oh. Oh, how our powers power combined. Yeah. Uh. How's your watch? What'd you get? Yeah. I got a Tiso PRX Powermatic 80. That is the full name. Right, right on. You're, you're right <laughs> you, had to, you had to like read the dial. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember like if it was paramedic or something else. I had to fucking read the dial. All right. Cool, yeah. man. I got it. I, I've been into watches recently and they're like, I've been looking around at different videos and this one caught my eye the most that was at least somewhat in my price range. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll get this one because the other one that I like, it costs way more money than would it be feasible for me to save up for? Yep. I, uh, I uh, you're not trying to put a, a down payment down and <laughs> make not payments to on a watch? Buy like a $30,000 watch. Not, not trying to <laughs> buy a car. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, like, if you're buying a watch that expensive, that's a statement piece, you know? You're, you're telling other watch enthusiasts uh-huh. that, like, you know your shit, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> you know? And then, like, people are going to expect you to also have other watches like not other watches of equal (laughs) value but uh yeah i i I used to be super into watches too i mean i still kind of am but like toned it down a lot i used to um you know look for different kinds of pieces you know it's like oh i I need my diver watch i need Mm -hmm. my dress watch i need my military style watch i need my uh, you know, all that kind of shit. You know, I need my chronograph, which is the only, only oh. one I really have now. It's my favorite type of dial. Uh, mm-hmm. But 
I don't have the grail, you know, everyone wants, like every watch enthusiast has the one watch that mm-hmm. they want. And it's usually mm-hmm. really expensive. Uh-huh. Uh, I actually had enough money saved up to finally buy one. And then I decided against it. And I bought a car instead. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's that, ne- that's the kind of the purchase these more. watches yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't as much as a car would have been. But, you know, it's uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it'd be as much as a down payment on a car. Maybe. Mm-hmm. It, uh-huh. it hampers the, the car buying potential is, is yeah. what it is. Yeah. You know? uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, just get the watch and then get the car, dude. It's like, hmm. But now I, I got well, the car first. One or so the other now, situation. <laughs> we back on it. Let's build up that budget. Let's there go. There you go. You just need to save up some seed money. And then in Vegas, dude, we'll just oh. make, it, oh, there we go. make all your watch money, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I say dude, as like the one that like doesn't gamble at all right? when we go to Vegas. <laughs> dude, I only go there to eat. No Save, casinos. Bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, Wait, what is this uh, podcast? Uh, let's talk about idols, right? We talk about idols. Oh, this podcast. oh sure. I thought about. this was a watch podcast. The watch <laughs> podcast. Um, I like. I don't know shit about watches, dude. I'm like the least qualified person to be on this show, dude. Uh, hello. <laughs> but you I have, have a, a new smart watch you know? about some idols, man. So let's talk Ooh. about Sakamichi series. Know what I'm saying we're fans of. Oh, let's go. Um. Yeah, let's go to the current events. Uh, nothing really to show this week. Not that they uh, help us out in any way, even though we talk about their charts. So. Yeah, this the podcast is brought to you by us. Please sub and like and comment and stuff. I don't know. These are yes, affiliate links you. if you're buying stuff on Amazon Japan. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Let us know. Uh, the, the current events, Yoshimoto Zaka, nothing going on, but I'm here representing, look at this oh. It's not a Yoshimoto Zaka shirt, I'm here, it's just... You're representing uh, Tori Zaka? Just having some I, I miss, same color. I, I miss my uncles, dude. Me too. I miss that stretch of every Yoshimoto Zaka release, and we're just like, oh shit, dude, this, this is fucking good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year, huh? Maybe next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll let's go to... Here. Hinata Zaka has always been active. Uh, what's going on? Um, their captain, Sasaki Kumi. Uh, her new show started. Nihun Goju Kyubyo. Um, mm-hmm. This is basically a continuation of, uh, I think, their last show. Yeah. That she was on, Mieru. Um, mm-hmm. Right, Josh? Is that right? Yes. That is right. Josh this one has a higher a, budget to it, too. As a Kumi Sasaki oh. Oshi. Okay, yeah. That's mm-hmm. cool. This is still part of that Abema uh, TV Asahi or whatever thing, right? Um, I think uh, so. A, a block of, a, of a, all these new variety style shows. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. She's still at it. Doing the, the same thing. I, I assume it's like the same uh, concept. I, I watched like one. Concept, I watched like one episode, the first episode of, of the last show. Oh, <laughs> and it's been a year. It lasted long. like a whole year. Uh huh. Oh, I'm whoa. like fuck, really? dude. It's been a year. Uh, uh. <laughs> I remember talking about that. Yeah, it was the season too. We talked about it. Ah uh, damn. Well, um, yeah. So that's that's uh, Captain. And getting more mm-hmm. more work, getting that work. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Chat says uh, apparently Nibu and Paru were on the news playing Fortnite. I, I, I didn't know. I, <laughs> I don't oh, play man, Fortnite. I wish I was Sorry, in the news Chad. whenever whenever I played right? a video game. <laughs> they they played duos on Fortnite. Oh, <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, but uh. Let's uh, move on to more Hinata Zaka. There's a radio preview of uh, another track off their... Um... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you like <laughs> the Shmoyo song. Oh. Yeah, there's a preview <laughs> of, the, uh, of the new song from the Hinata Zaka single, Teka. Uh, it's called 
Omoi Gakenai Double Rainbow. Yeah. Where are the thrillings? Oh, that's why. <laughs> All the way. Double rainbow. Across the oh sky. my god. Double rainbow. No, it's it's not the double yeah, rainbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so intense, tense. <laughs> uh, I remember that. Old internet. Old internet. Mm. That was like 10 years Our ago. Our boomer is showing. 2010. That's 11 years ago. You guys don't know about double rainbow chat? What's going on, man? It's all the way. This dude camping, tripping out on, on acid or some shit. Oh. Sees two rainbows yeah, it, and he's like, woo! It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. And I think that guy saw that. All yeah, the way across the sky. Ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So intense. A rainbow all the way <laughs> across the sky. <laughs> the best thing about the double rainbow song is when they like auto tune his crying. That's my favorite part. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I haven't heard the. Uh, the yeah, what does it say? What do you, what do you think about the actual song we're supposed to be talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me uh, take a quick listen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we should all just listen to it since none of us have listened to it. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm a, I'll, let's do that. All right. Damn, dude, I listened to it. I did my Here we go, work. chat. Well, I'll just drink okay. shitty Jimmy beer can talk about it while I, while I, I uh, play by play this song. All right, we got, you know, the jingles, the bells. Boy, uh, we're supposed to start at the same time. Tempo. <laughs> ah, forget it, dude. Let's just keep going. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounds very, uh, like, Christmassy, I guess. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Has this kind is of is that like, where my Misha mood came from? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we got like the strings, right? And yeah, it has that it's very like, jingle whole, bells, yeah, jingle yeah. belly uh vibe around here. Um, can't say it's my favorite, but uh, it's okay, it's all right, yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's, okay. it's very okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it. I, I would have been very down though if they gave us a music video and it was a Christmas themed one, dude. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Can't walking, go wrong. Walking with those. down walking down the snow covered streets, <laughs> looking into the, the the windows of the shops, dude. Oh, Wait, is this Misha? Is light? Illumination. <laughs> is this is this Misha? <laughs> You're everything. <laughs> Anatano. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's cute. It's very, um, it's exactly what you would think of. I think if uh, someone were to tell you, uh, he not the Zaka's putting out a Christmas song, dude. <laughs> you know, it's cute. Got yeah. some, got the vibes. Yeah, I think the vibe is there, um, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it feels like it was written down and like it's one of those like picking out of the folder ones, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I see. Yeah, I, I yeah, see. yeah, yeah. This isn't this isn't gonna be like an A side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they have the template. You know. Mm. Just, All right, just take this do. and put bells in there. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Like someone's in the studio. It's like it needs more. Needs more Christmas. <laughs> there we go. Get those, get those bells, man. <laughs> Some chimes. Do 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 do. Yeah, dude. You know. And we got the bells. <laughs> Ding. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. I can see it like in concerts where it's like towards the end and everyone's on stage and it's like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. I think you know when they do Hinakuri, it'd be like very fitting, right? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is this is a very good song for Hinakuri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like every every pop group needs their 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 Christmas song. You know. It's yeah. it's uh what's the sync song, dude? It's the best time of the year. Oh, that song is cool. Merry Christmas, happy, happy holidays. holidays. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's that's the one. Uh, yeah, oh my God, can I double rainbow all the way? All the way. This I, I'm I'm sad. <laughs> and the, this sounds mean, but it's in no way a dig. But it's just the reality. I would much rather listen to the double rainbow song. <laughs> Double well, I don't think, I don't think anyone's gonna gonna argue with you. Mm. Yeah, no arguing there, dude. It's starting to look like a triple rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, 
I'd, I'd like to see something on Hinakuri where they do this and they get yeah. like like kind of a marching band type thing, you know? Oh. A lot of people on stage, people with drums. I think that's a, mm-hmm. that's what the, the visual I'm getting. I can see that. I can see that. But um, yeah, not, not too exciting. Yeah. It's kind of like a filler, you know, filler. All right, get the energy back up. All right, now go to a good song. Yep. So, there you go. Hinata Zaga. Uh, single comes out towards the end of the month. In a week or two. <clears throat> so, yep. look out for that, everybody. Mm-hmm. Right, let's move on to Sakura Zaka 46. Uh, Suga Yuka is going to be on the Curtains musical. I uh, talked about this a couple weeks ago. But, uh, yeah. Dude, these, uh, really... these promotional <clears throat> pictures look so good. Yeah, mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. deets, but now we, uh, the, the website opened and, you know, there's pictures of the cast and stuff so you can actually see sugai sama in costume if this Oof. website would load come on mommy come on, curtains musical my lady hello curtains my lady. <laughs> it's not loading okay so i can't really show my ojo <laughs> ojo sama um, but uh she's playing nikki is that the yeah, name nikki. of the character yeah, uh-huh. the lead, the female lead. Oh, you go. Um, you got that like cyan. What is that color? Uh, dress there. I did. Sea foam. <laughs> yeah, sea foam. There we go. <laughs> yeah, like the the fenders, <laughs> the guitar color. Oh yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. This nice site is slow as hell. Telly, dude. Come on. Um. Yeah. So. So it's it's a it's kind of a meta musical, right? The main character is a detective uh, investigating. Uh, was it like a murder or something? At a musical that happened at a musical mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she plays like a a lady, you know. Maybe the love mm-hmm. interest. I don't know the story of this. Um, Same. So yeah, we got the cast. Pictures over here. Uh, yeah. Should be interesting. Yeah. It's Too bad we'll never be able to watch it. Watch, right? <laughs> when is this again? Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, so Osaka at the end of February. Um, we're going into mid uh, mid March. And then from there, no, I mean, Tokyo, February to March. Mm-hmm. And then Osaka and then Aichi. Till the end of March. So, there you go. Curtains, the musical. Here in Japan. In Japan. We'll watch it. Yep. Um, she looks good. She looks good. Yeah, mm-hmm. looking good. Let's move on. More Sakurazaka stuff. There's a trailer for the DVD Blu-ray content of third single. And it's like um, groups of them going out to do things. Oh. So they split up. I- See, we got uh, uh, that looks cute. Some trios here going on. Yeah, they just you know, it's like a location shoot type thing. Right? It reminds me of the Nogi Zaka one. Mm. Like the, there was like three random people who would go together. Pretty sure Nogi has done something similar with like I remember. Oh, it was the one think with... of the the Kiaki days, dude. Ooh, right. I remember like the Kanji and Hiragana would like. It was oh like, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that was a thing. Techi and uh, what is it? Kaki Ka- Ka- had a. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get <laughs> Had a date. Um, <laughs> Jimmy made yeah, us look upset. At, uh, here we have uh, 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 Rena and, and Inori and, and Kosaka Marino. And who's that in the back? That's Seki, I think. Right? They they go somewhere. Um, what are those? Some what of are those them make... fat little mini tripods, dude. <laughs> what uh, I like how... <laughs> Akira is with double Watanabe, dude. <laughs> uh, being all weird and shit. Yeah, so they go out and do like random stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Go to a zoo and shit. I, mean, I don't know. I wonder Some if like each a... of them plan to do a certain thing or something. Yeah. Some go to like a glass art studio. I got to 120 zoo. and it's just 
the Watanabes and Kira just barking <laughs> with their with their daughter, dude. <laughs> uh, how to have to babysit their their yeah. niece from the country? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't used to the city life. <laughs> <laughs> she's just screeching dude. stop enabling her dude um, she's 20 years old why is she acting like this <laughs> yep um, yeah so it's nice you got like they have little talk parts yeah. they, like mm-hmm. Sugai takes her group to go see fucking horses alright that's uh-huh. cool. of course yeah um, she'd be like welcome I own this stable. <laughs> These are my horses. What the f- <laughs> These are the riding ones. These are the glue ones. <laughs> oh no! This is for Tartar. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think uh, if, you, if you've seen other like past Blu-ray DVDs of this type, you know how it goes. You know, mm-hmm. like yeah. Nogi. I, I, I like these. Yeah. 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 Right, K- I mean, like, like, like Kaya House vibes, right? It's just like them being real, you know, just mm-hmm. chilling. Out. I just yeah. remember the one with with Mayan and then like Eto Misa and then a third. They just like went for a drive or something like that. Mm. And then like they were like trying to book hotels. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> thing I remember. <laughs> you remember that? Remember that? No. Uh, well, anyway. I, I, uh, yeah. I remember there was like a series of those where like it was three different members doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was for 46 TV or if it was for a bonus single. Unless they did it both times. Yeah, so that's the extra content you get if you buy the limited types. But uh, yeah. for us who don't want to spend any money, uh, they put it on streaming services. Well, not, oh. not the extra content, but oh. the, um, the the songs. The song, the, the single. Oh, okay. The single. Uh, but you know, out here in in the United States, we can't really uh, listen to it yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why they gotta do this, man? I just want to listen to Dead End. Come yeah, on, dude. man. Just want come on Jamaica beer, dude. Just when it releases there, just make it release worldwide at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. What's the difference? What's what's the point, man? Come on, just have it. No, it's famous. not midnight for you guys yet. <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> Is it that hard to schedule? <laughs> like a little mm-hmm. kid with everything at the same cookies. time. No, you can't have a cookie yet. <laughs> God damn it! I just want to listen. Um, well, it's it's there. Just look out for this tweet when it's midnight. I guess our time. Mm-hmm. Be yeah, ready dude. to go. You know, we have several different, you know, Apple Music and Line, YouTube, Amazon, iTunes, you know, all that usual shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I will listen to this when it becomes available immediately. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey Siri, set a reminder <laughs> to play Sakura Zaka at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> He just starts yeah. blasting from the yeah. watch. <laughs> the horns just start. <laughs> 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 it's too powerful. <laughs> so while we wait, let's go to Nogi Zaka and their only news this week. They're releasing a best of album for the anniversary, guys. Let's fucking go, dude. Nogi Zaga 46 will release the first best album to commemorate the 10th anniversary of its debut. No title yet, but it's going to be released December 15th from the first single, Guru Guru Kern. Uh, Complete recordings uh, up to Kiminishi Karareta in addition. The COVID song, Route 246, and Yukurito Sakuhana. I don't know what song that is. Uh, those were like digital singles, at least the first mm-hmm. two. They weren't included in any physical release. Those will be included. Several other new songs will be included. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, get this luxury benefits related. Uh, fun special events. Uh, more con- 
stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, here here are the versions. Full production, limited edition. Three CDs, Blu-ray plus accessories, 8,500 yen. And then you just get the, the not full production, limited edition. Three CDs and Blu-ray only, 7,000 That's yen. the first mm-hmm. press, limited edition. What's oh, different? first press, okay. And then the normal edition, two CDs, 3,500 yen. Full production, limited edition, and close benefits, application privilege, several. Okay, I think that's for uh, the handshake or meeting dates, right? Oh, I think so. Um, and so if you um, order through Sony, uh, well, there, there's there's like shop-specific bonuses, right? Like all their other releases. Yeah, and like for this album, a- you can get... Uh, individual member covers oh if you buy through the sony music shop can you pick it or is it random no you can you, so you like oh, okay. pre-order that's the, oh that would be so fucking cruel dude just yeah, I could dude, imagine doing control. that though <laughs> this some this some 48 group shit right here dude. Um, yeah, dude so like there's the uh pre-order period as always um like for their other goods right but this time you can get your Oshi cover, 3,500 yen. So it's the regular edition. Um, mm-hmm. Sag. How so do I yeah, get a Kaki Haruka of the, the limited? Dude? Full production saying. limited edition Kaki yeah, dude. First pressed. <laughs> so yeah. He's first pressed, dude. So it's first pressed like only like the first run and that's the only one they're going to do this limited edition for? I mean, usually that's how it is, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going to have to buy one of, those, imagine, one of the limited edition ones to get the accessories. And then you have to get a different one of your Ocean Man for the, for the <laughs> limited one. Josh, we're talking about idols, bro. <laughs> Dude, this, this, is is three. Three. this is for Kaki Haruka, Josh. No, no expense is too much, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how this works here. So, um, as you have all the members, right? You just click on your Oshi. Go to a New page. This it's loading really slowly. Okay, here we go. Add to cart. Oh, that's it. You don't know how it looks like though. Mm-hmm. Um, God, I would hate it. If it was just their fucking bio. Yeah, picture it's like, like I right. hope it's not like just a profile picture. And you know, so the cover special. Like <laughs> what? But you know, we don't we don't have the visual for the release album release yet. So oh, yeah, true. It might be pretty dope, man. As long as it's uh, better than that. Previous album one. <laughs> what was oh, the last the, album? Um, with the paintings on the wall? The, yeah, the, oh. the, the museum type yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 with, yeah, the, yeah. with the ghost thing, the weird Photoshop thing that they didn't fix? Mm. Yeah. Um, so they did the 46-minute TV on the Nogichu channel, but they didn't archive it, so I didn't get a chance to to watch. Oh, me neither. Um, but it was like a few members, and they went out... Um, it was like a location shoot thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they had the uh, uh, like the ad poster thing. I think it was at Nogisaka Station. And then a few of them signed it yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they archive it, man? I wanted to see them out and about on the streets. I don't know. On the mean streets, dude. But um, yeah. That's the tenth anniversary, man. It's already ten years. Ten years, Wild, Zaki. Oh wait, there's more stuff here. There's the shop specific bonuses. Let's go through these real quick. Uh, if you buy from, depending on where you buy from, let's see. Seven Net always has the photo sets, mm. um, and then here they have like who's on what set, right? So you know. Which which one to buy for your Oshi, right? Mm-hmm. So in set A, you get Itori and Rentan and Asuka and all of them. All right, Iku Chan's in set B, etc. Mm-hmm. Amazon back at it again with that mega jacket. The mega jacket. Still don't know what it is. <laughs> what is I a mega jacket? I don't know what it is. Is it like is it like a, a foldable one? So like you unfold it, and it's like a bigger version of it, maybe. That'd be cool. Perhaps. I don't know. Oh, chat. Has anyone up. gotten it? Thank you, chat, for the uh, 
the, oh, uh, the live stream. So it was uh, Kaki, Manatsu, Kichan, and Ume. And they went out and about to do things. This reminds me of one of the first few uh, hit campaigns that they did where they went to the train stations and stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. To, and then handed out posters to like the uh, subway people. Yeah, yeah, can you yeah, can yeah. you like put this up, please? Uh-huh. Uh, nah, uh, sorry, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like those uh, hit campaigns when they like yeah, actually yeah. went out to. Yeah, mm. posters yeah. kind of cool. Is them? Walking It'd be up. funny if they did that now. <laughs> like, oh, this is Nogi Zaka Forty Six. Hi, we're Nogi Zaka Forty Six. I know who you are. <laughs> or you want the big one? What, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah wait, 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 spot. <laughs> <laughs> you want it on the train? <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, uh yeah, the poster's kind of cool. It's like them, like the outfits walking across. They got like the jumpers and like Kimi no Na Kibo outfit and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The transition. Kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's the live stream. They uh, put up the posters. Be out December 15th. Who's going to buy? I might buy this one. I will probably you know, it, buy. It's like a you know, it's like an anniversary thing. So it's like, I'll it has, see how it, the, the songs are, are like the least part about it. it it's more about like, yeah, this it's is like com- commemorative, iconic, right? You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, memorabilia. Mm-hmm. Plus, I gotta, I gotta do it for the you know, Kaki actually saving my my Wota life, dude. Ooh. Giving giving this warrior a reason to to fight to pick up his his king blade once again, dude. <laughs> it's mm. like on the wall. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i'll think i'll 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 sit on it and see how the actual package looks you know mm. uh, like that's how fair like, fair fair the thing is like the pre-order period isn't that long right for the um individual member oh, cover it? yeah i kind of want to see how it looks before committing committing Mm-hmm. You know? Should I get my my um, Oshiman and then my Niyoshi just in case? <laughs> just get just get two Manatsus, dude. You're good. Right. But what I need two of them? When it's I only until the end of October, man. Mm. Eh. Oh really? No, man. Oh, and they haven't shown what it is yet. No, man. no. that's the thing. Yeah, that's all. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get huh. like an individual one. I, like, I kind of want the the limited. Yeah. Like, unless For they sure. like re- release all the visual stuff in the next two weeks or so, a couple days, right? Yeah, we won't know, dude. I hope they like go really big with this one, like make oh, yeah, they have really to. Cool I mean, they shit. have to. It's ten years, right? Yeah, yeah. because it's ten years, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, some maybe some like reflective shit on the, <laughs> on the CD jackets uh, or something, you know. Some texture. Make on it there. cool, man. Make it cool. Yeah. God, I feel like it was just yesterday. It was AKB's ten. I know, I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> that ten year, like I think it was five like five years ago, six years ago. I, met you guys. I don't know, man. <laughs> so like it was Jesus. like four, right? Four years. The only ago? reason I remember that is because that's the C you guys Fucking you guys gave me. Boomers, it, dude. It was the ten year anniversary one. Oh, was it really? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's how long ago it's been. Was it? That's, was it back uh, then, dude? That's it for the current event news, man. Oh, God, it was 2015. Oh, God, I'm sick to my stomach. Oh. <laughs> Six years ago, Jimmy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's it. That's the end of the current events. Um, let's go for a quick break. And we're back. Welcome back to the hey. show. Now it is time for the comment of the week. Josh picks a comment he likes from a previous episode or whatever the hell he feels like and shares it with all of us. Josh? Take away this box, dude. This is from not the previous episode, but one that we premiered right after it. And that is the vlog we did of the behind the scenes of the videos we shot. The vlog. And this is from Mr. Mikey J. Thank you for the comment. It says, love the behind the scenes vids. Too bad I have to buy five different versions of your Slope Cup CD to get the other bonus footage like Jimmy's Grab Your Power Lifting or the instrumental version of Josh's lighting critiques and photo, photo books. But I still owe you guys. Stay safe in Cali. You can 
Canuck fan in Toronto. Canuck? He's Canadian. Canuck. All right. Thank you for the comment. Are, yes, are, please. Are we gonna, uh, are we gonna do them dirty like that, dude? <laughs> Full on. <laughs> <laughs> Full on idol your releases, dude. Video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already announced it, dude. If we get two two K subs, dude, Josh Box Gravier, dude. No, no, he said Jimmy's. He said Jimmy's. <laughs> we'll let uh, we'll which, let uh we'll let is, we'll, is, we'll is do Gravier a poll on Twitter. Dude. That, that's the we'll, we'll do we'll do a poll on Twitter. Yeah. Would people niche. would people rather see Josh Box Gravier or Josh Box Gravier, dude? <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> shot by uh, Nakamura Kazutaka. <laughs> oh, throwing him to the lions, dude. Man. Josh is gonna have that that pick where he's in the shower, dude, behind the glass. Ah, <laughs> uh, mental image seared, <laughs> into brain. just burned into your brain, huh? <laughs> I Thank you, my eyes uh, long enough <laughs> for the comment. If you'd like to see any of that, uh, you know, hit the like if you like any of our videos. Um, Maybe at the sub because we're pretty close to 2K now. Yeah. Um, at the time of this uh, podcast recording. So help us out, man. Help us out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Help us out. Dude. Go on your mom's phone, you know, just hit subscribe on that account. Oops, mom, you're sub. Go to so any far. other family members. Sub. Help us out. But, uh, yeah, thank you for the comment. Let's now uh, go Leave to- a comment with what, uh, with what boy's CD bonus would be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's time for TV Show Roundup. It's where we recap the weekly TV shows of Sakamichi series groups. There are the three. Hinai, Sokusaku, <laughs> and Nogichu. Sometimes we watch other shows and talk about them. I watched the new show with Asuka. Ha- Hamaska Hosobu. Oh, they just kind of talk. Um, Saito Asuka and Okamo- Hama Okamoto. It's funny because you know how Asuka is... Uh, she's just kind of like doing Aloof. her thing, and then yeah. like mm-hmm. you know, Hama is is like trying to be like the host. And he's like, "Hello, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Hama Okamoto. I play bass." And he's like introducing himself and stuff, and then Asuka's just like, "Okay, cool." And then like she tries to continue <laughs> with the show, and he's like, "Oh yes, that's right. Miss, All right. Miss, Miss Saito doesn't introduce herself." <laughs> That's <laughs> like, oh, my bad. Let me just. <laughs> Everyone knows who I am. Let's really move fun. on. Yeah, y'all already focused, know. Um, y'all already know. Yeah. It's focused on music. And they did this weird thing in the first episode where it's like, uh, they take one of the ADs. Uh, and, and the ADs, when he when he wakes up in the morning, he does like calligraphy to like, you know, get to him oh, shit, his, dude. Oh. his mind working. So he writes Asuka's name. You know, with the name brush and stuff. And like they they see how he does depending on the song that wakes him up or whatever. Um, so like they they have like the control song, which is I don't remember what it was, but like he gets up and it's like uh, decent, it looks okay. And then Hama Okamoto recommends like, oh, this is a song I really like uh, to play when I wake up. It's fucking roundabout. <laughs> Oh, like, yes, it's like, oh, is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> <laughs> and so they play his song, and then the calligraphy is like terrible. The guy doesn't wake up for like 30 minutes or something like that. And they're like, oh, no. And then they get like a suggestion by uh, some specialist dude. It's like, oh, yes, this tempo song, this kind of melody. And he, get, he like gets up, and his like writing is all nice and stuff. I guess it's gonna do that kind of shit, but uh, hmm. yeah, I think it's an interesting pair. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll check another check out another episode or two. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I like to hear, yeah hear uh, Ash, Ash talk about music, dude. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, Kakuzuke check aired. I mean, it aired last week when we did the show, but I didn't watch it. Kakuzuke check with uh, Sakurazaka and Risa and Tenchan and uh, Hono. They did pretty well. Like they oh. weren't their own team, uh, mm. but uh, they did pretty well, like in general. Just it was like, the first time they weren't like slumming it at the end, right? Yeah, they didn't disappear for once. <laughs> um, they actually did pretty well. Hey, uh, let's go, dude. So there's like mm-hmm. a you uh, love growth you love to see right? oh, yes getting, getting up there they, they, they're becoming uh first 
great co- uh, entertainers, dude. Oh. Ichiryu Genojin out here. Mm. So there are like different checks, right? Usually there's like food and then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whatever else. The majority music. of the, the episode was like music, yeah. So first they had like uh, the really old classical instrument, right? Versus like just a pretty like standard one. And then there was like a jazz band um, that played, you know, like brass instruments versus like plastic instruments, right? Mm. And then like the third choice for the ba- uh, the the jazz band was like one of these is just a, a dude <laughs> humming. <laughs> um, thanks for the sub, Mike. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there was, there was the taiko. The taiko was pretty dope, though. It was like a oh. pro group versus like a high school competition mm. Mm. group um, and then the last one was like beef no not beef it was like seafood or something like that uh, and then there was the painting or the, the picture that Jimmy yeah, his yeah, friend yeah. I guess yeah. Yeah. yeah it was my friend yeah so it's like was this like an is, is this an illustration or an actual photo uh, mm-hmm. so they did well uh, what else? There's that All Star Kanshasai to kind of um, introduce the new fall TV season, like a f- mm. four hour show. Uh, was that? Katoshi and, and Kumi were on it, but they were barely on it. <laughs> oh. uh, I thought they were actually gonna like feature them in some way, but they weren't. Mm. They were just part of the show. I watched I the, watch. of the time with Matsuri on it. Oh, um, that's right. I, I, yeah, I watched the Her movie. segment is kind of like an info infomercial segment. So she like introduces stuff and then yeah, it goes yeah. to like the VTR. That's really all she does. Like with the apron. Yeah. I watched the Monday shows because the Uman was on Monday. Mm-hmm. And like, oh. you know how last week we were talking about uh, like if you should watch the time or love it or whatever. It just, yeah, yeah. like, after the time, it goes straight into Love straight It. Straight to... They like, oh, there you go. Li- they, like, talk to the Love It hosts oh. at the oh. end of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, at, at the end of the time, they do, the, like, this little song. They're like, ah, goodbye, thank you for watching. And then they, like, mm-hmm. talk to the host of Love It. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, I saw the, the, the MC, the announcer guy singing. I didn't see Miss Umezawa singing. She's just like, oh no, dude, oh. I was totally singing the song. What are you talking about? <laughs> but then um, Higuchi was on Love It. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and this this week was the first time for both of them. You should mm-hmm. watch Higuchi. Higuchi's really good at TV. <laughs> oh yeah, she is, yeah. <laughs> He's like, Let's check it out. like, she was like very att- attractive on TV. And mm-hmm. not just her looks, but like, the way she like carries herself. Oh, she herself. presents herself. Yeah, yeah. yeah and exactly. like the, the way she comments on things. Well, it looks like uh, she's, she, she's like, she like she shines. She's got that aura. You know, the aura, yeah. 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 I also watched the All Night Nippon for some reason. I never, I never watch it for some reason. Because <laughs> I watched the Sarnatsu. Yo, are you, are you, are you, are you sure you're not? Are you sure, <laughs> yeah, are you sure you're not going through it, Josh? It's huh? Maichun's show. <laughs> but like the guest was Manatsu. Manatsu? Yeah, dude. <laughs> the one that I decided to watch was what Manatsu was on. Chat, um, oh, Josh just keeps incriminating himself for chat, dude. I, don't know. I can't even defend him at this point. Uh, they talk about The Walking Dead. They talk about food. They talk about all this kind of random stuff. I kind of like how uh, they have the video for that. It's like a podcast. Yeah. Right? yeah. For all that people. Mm-hmm. It's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, I prefer that way for sure. Mm-hmm. And I yeah, like how, you get all um, like, the expressions and stuff, right? Yeah. Like the camera, the cat, the camera for the opposite, like the, their their individual cameras are on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. So like, it's like behind one of the people, like the one sitting across, so they can just like, <laughs> like turn <laughs> around <laughs> and their face is like right there uh-huh. in front of the camera. Um, yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of TV shows uh, this week. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Anyway, let's talk about the main ones that we watch. Hinai is first. We're continuing the Hinata Zaka Derby. Mm-hmm. This is a solid episode. Shows. You got a lot more games done this time. Mm-hmm. 
so the first one is like the the not blinking. Oh. See see how long they can go without blinking, right? Mm-hmm. They were distracting pretty... Manamo. I she argue. started doing the burrito stuff. <laughs> I don't know then they then... talked to her and she answers and she blinked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they better like look around and stuff. Uh-huh. And against her. I like Susan did pretty well. Like she oh, just yeah. had like this like, <laughs> face yeah. the whole yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> the most relaxed face. <laughs> what, what man? Uh, um, I can't I can't not blink, dude. It's, it's that's impossible really. for me. Yeah. I could do it a little well. Ten seconds max, maybe even less. Oh really? Yeah. All right, there's a video for Vegas, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Club blinking tournament, dude. Uh, and then the sec- five views. <laughs> and then the second game is shortest um, video we make. It's the room. Like they go the in the room and then uh, they change the room somehow, and then the members oh, yeah. who who can find all the changes the fastest mm-hmm. uh, is the winner. Um, and so, like. They go in there first to see how it looks like, and then mm-hmm. they leave. Uh, and then the the members who are guessing and Kasuga and Wakabayashi, they're like, "Oh, which, which how, what should which, what should we change here?" And they like decide. Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Oh, take take one of the red shirts out and stuff like that." And then I think Matsuda was the fastest. So like they move one of the shirts, and then Kasuga changed the direction of his hair mm-hmm. and they switched around the cushion and, yeah. and two other things I forgot. and some other oh things. no it was just three things right yeah i think it was three yeah and then they did the uh button one see how who can yeah, yeah, fast. Get, uh-huh. press the buttons the fastest mm-hmm. uh mikuni 138 mm-hmm. it was easy but, for she, her. but she was the winner uh-huh. that's what i call you start. That's like, like, like when you play enough cookie cookers, boy. Cookie cookers, oh. You get used to that technique. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a passive player now. I don't click anymore. <laughs> oh. uh, and then uh, the last game they play was the vegetable bagging. So they get like the the, the bag and they gotta try to fit as many vegetables and then weigh them. The heaviest wins. I don't know it's this was a trend. One of them was saying that they saw, like, they, they watched a YouTube channel on this, right? Or something like that? Oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I guess there's a there's a channel for everything. It's a thing. And yeah. But when you put it on the scale, it's got to stay in the bag. And then Hinano has, like, mm-hmm. a giant iceberg lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Those were the games. It's just a bunch of like onions falling out of the bags and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they get to take those home, man. Oh, those, those are some. I think I'll talk about right them there, like, dude. Lot, right? Like at the last uh, second, whoever had the pineapple was gonna win. Mm. But it fell. No, out. but that, that one was bound to fall down. That looked like it was gonna fall down. We just set it down. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, that was the that was Hinai. I think they're done with this. I don't, I'm not uh-huh. sure. But uh, let's, yeah. let's go to Sokosaku, where they are doing the hit campaign. Oh. The trapeze maneuver, where they switch from their hands to the knees, and then they're going to... And they receive the... Uh, receive they get received by the other person. Yeah. Yeah, Thank God this wasn't a whole fucking routine and it wasn't dangerous as dangerous as yeah. it could have been dude. but man they uh-huh. flew through this so quickly like the yeah. episode yeah. starts showing up over here. <laughs> like they already practiced so now they're just gonna yeah, do it yeah 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 uh-huh. <laughs> like okay let's so you know go. I'm watching this episode like oh, it took me months to do this <laughs> then a whole routine <laughs> just so condensed hell. to 20 minutes dude <laughs> yeah some of the Bax members are there too just in case mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. you know, someone mm-hmm. backs out you know um, and so yeah, they go one by one, right? And and uh, it's supposed to be the Sakura A, but only seven are are oh, yeah. attempting the challenge because Pawn's on hiatus. She's like, man, trapeze mm-hmm. ain't doing a shit. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my break, dude. 
<laughs> Colin's like, nope, I'm out of here. And so, uh, you know, they do their thing. Um, it seemed like the most difficult part was like tucking to get your yeah. knees. Mm. You know, you need some flexibility right there, right? Yeah, core mm-hmm. strength because you got to slip it underneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Get the, uh, the through it so you can yeah, get it to the bar. Um, but they all did pretty well. Uh, no issues except for Pe. Pe is afraid of heights, and so I I feel her on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do not fucks with heights, dude. Yeah. So uh, I, I, oh, go ahead. I was like, I, this is dumb, but like I've told you guys my whole thing about scary movies, right? Like, I can I can watch murder like murderer stuff, serial killers. That's fine. Because at least if a, a serial killer attacked me, I could try to defend myself. But I can't. I don't do ghosts and demons type stuff. Because like, what can you really do? You can't fight a ghost. None it's the same with shit, heights, bro. dude. It's the same with heights. You, you fall down from super high. Yeah, dude. I can't fight the height, dude. I can't. There's no martial arts technique. Gravity. No way to dive roll to to overcome this, dude. I'm just gonna splat, dude. My friend has right. a, a friend of mine had a like the same kind of like thought when riding roller coasters it's like dude you have a crotch rocket let's go I, i'm in control of the bike okay like i'm not in control of the roller mm. coaster like, yeah, yeah, that's fair i guess yeah yeah um yeah so i had a hard hard time um she didn't actually like jump off the platform during practice or something like that mm. yeah um, yeah mm-hmm. and so she goes up and she's like uh nope i'm out <laughs> So uh, mm-hmm. she backs off. Um, they skip her um, and let the rest go. Risa has really cute hair in the interview part. Let's go. Let's go. Um, you know, the little, boop. the little like bun thingies right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but then uh, Pei was like, "I will go up again," and they're like, "Oh." Mm. And I was like, oh, let's go. I, dude, goes, I was legit right? proud of her, dude. Even, right. even like. Like, it takes a lot just to do for, that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, okay, like, we talked about, like, or we're going to talk about, like, how she's not going to actually do it, right? She just does the jump or whatever. She just jumps off the platform, yeah. But, like, dude, you ever been, like, paralyzed with fear? You know what I mean? Because it's like, I, 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 it's like, for her, I'm sure, it's like. If I step off of this thing, I'm going to fucking die, dude. You know, like, and logically, you know, that's not what's going to happen. Yeah. But like having to make mm-hmm. that step yourself, right? Because a roller coaster is spooky. It's scary. But once again, it's like you don't have to make it go. Once you're strapped in, you have no choice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like to be in that position where you yourself have to like mm-hmm. make yeah, that yeah. jump, dude. Yeah. I, was, I was proud of her, dude. I was like, mm-hmm. let's fucking go, mm-hmm. pay. Good job. She didn't actually do the thing, but you know, she jumped off. Everyone's proud. Let's go. Um, but you know, they're like, uh, we still need to do this. We challenge. still gotta we still gotta do the thing. <laughs> and uh, we need like seven people to do it. So the Bax members, that's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, sh-. uh, and so, you know, the Bax members also practiced and they draw a name out of a hat or a box rather. Mm-hmm. And uh, the lucky winner is Karin, <laughs> who is also afraid of heights. She's like, know? man, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Karin. Uh, stepping in, you know, subbing in, mm-hmm. yeah. did her thing, um, completed the challenge. Good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm proud. Of, I'm, pr- I'm proud of the those two, dude. You know, yeah. I mean, of course, I'm proud of all of them, but like, you know, it's like if you if you're afraid of heights, you know, it's like yeah. courage isn't needed if you're not afraid. You know what I mean? But like to challenge something you're actually af- like terrified of, that's what takes courage, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, the hit campaign is a success. Now it's gonna hey. get all the sales. <laughs> oh, let's go. Because of this, and not the fact that they put out a bunch of bangers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I just like how it's like in this empty lot. They just set up this whole trapeze mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like the neighborhood is around. Them. Yeah, yeah, it's just around them. <laughs> like, where are they? Over there. Right? <laughs> they just kind of like this is in the middle of the tour, right? And so they're mm. just like on location at some neighborhood mm-hmm. with this whole thing set. Like all the vans are there. <laughs> Shit mm-hmm. like that. Uh, you know what's so. the you know what's the best thing about this one? Nobody got fucking hurt, dude. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> no, no yeah. sacrifices needed to have been made, dude. Yeah, the the chances of of this uh, of them getting hurt was were pretty low, you know. Yeah, I mean they were like tethered everywhere. There was the dude. What do you call it? Belaying or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. Right. They, they had a they had a line and a guy. I was like giving him slack. Mm-hmm. So. All the, I think all the safety precautions were there. Were there? Yeah, exactly. And it, so I, I feel that, like, like we didn't. Need this to, was like, the right. Be mm. super concerned or anything. Like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I could just enjoy it instead of like mm-hmm. puckering my butthole the entire time. Like, <laughs> oh, no, she was swing yeah. and then let go and then go, and go flying it, up. It's just <laughs> it's a fine line of like having them challenge something, and actually have a challenge versus like, this is unnecessarily dangerous. Yeah. Right. Like I think the cheer thing. They, they, well, it doesn't sound dangerous. They made it so difficult that mm-hmm. it became dangerous, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, for Hinata Zaka. Whereas this is like, yeah, they had to like learn a whole fucking trapeze routine or something <laughs> in one day that I'd be uh-huh. like, okay, guys, we need to cut this shit out. You know? Uh-huh. They just did one move. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, next episode, they're, they're still at this place. So they're going to do some talks, I guess. Making use mm. of uh, of their location, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we have this place for uh, three hours. Uh, let's uh, we'll see. We'll see how it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Nogichu. We're at the finals of the cooking battle. First gen mm. versus third gen. It made me so hungry, dude. Right. This time, um, there there's a set meal they have to make. They just have to like make it their own, right? So it's chahan. Mm-hmm. Um, and a mapo tofu. And mapo tofu, Ooh. dude. I like the the same day I watched this. I literally went and ate mapo tofu. <laughs> I made I made kimchi fried rice, dude. Because it was like I also I got ate. fried rice, but it wasn't chan. So, mm. um, oh god, I love I love fried rice and mapo tofu, dude. Oh, right, but it's chan's very uh, you know different from just your. It's like the the actual normal, like. Fried rice, mm. you know. That was the challenge uh, this episode. Um, yeah, I'm lucky there's that. like a, there's a little, kind of a local you know Chinese food place, so I can just get muffo tofu uh-huh. whenever I want. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's like one of Himura's favorites, I guess. So that's why they're making it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, cutting up the. Uh, Pork and stuff, the, the chashu, you know, all that shit. Um, I like how uh, Yamashita was making the chan. I'm like, oh, this man, I'm gonna add some crab, baby. And then, like, Ooh, he was like, oh, well, top, uh, Shitara can't eat it. And they're like, what? <laughs> uh-huh. He's he's allergic? Oh, oh, shit. I'll remake <laughs> it. So Yamashita yeah. had to make it twice. <laughs> 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 oh, it was worth that at the end, you know. <laughs> It was worth. It was worth. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all they do. Kaz spent the whole thirty minutes making a on soup. The soup, yeah. <laughs> and at the end, she like tastes it, and she's like, "I don't know." It's like, "Oh no!" Something. <laughs> she did the little head tilt. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. She's like, mm-hmm. "I don't know," mm-hmm. but I think in the end, they they enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah, probably one of those mm-hmm. things where it's like, if you were expecting it to taste a certain way, probably mm-hmm. didn't taste the way she she wanted it to mm-hmm. but it's still mm-hmm. good you know yeah it's still mm-hmm. good but yeah, yeah but um you know the Yoda once again in her mind mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. what is it called ba basashi ba yeah. ba oh the the horse dude yeah, yeah. the horse <laughs> Yo, I still got the cut. Just... <laughs> can't get i can't let it go to waste uh <laughs> um, that's right. special first together. first who's whose dish would you guys have chosen and then, after that, uh, which specific dish was would be would have been your like favorite? Do you think? 
I think third gens was my favorite. They both look like first gen went for like very like straightforward, you know. Kind of more yeah, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. they added eggplant to the mapo tofu, but like, uh, it, it's still like you know that's that's, that's it's like the classic tofu. mapo tofu. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. They they went for a more classic kind of what you'd expect, I guess, mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. Uh, you know chahan mapo tofu, right? Um, but third gen did their their own little tick and made it like a shio version shio like yeah, yeah. i never tasted one like that so I'd, I'd be interested in trying it yeah i think i'd try that too because i've never tried it anything mm. like that you know it's a different mm-hmm. they didn't have like the Sichuan Sh- peppers you know no tinglies yeah no. see that's no. that's the thing yeah. it's like i'm so curious well, like, I, i'm sure it tastes good but when i want mapo tofu dude you want the tingles i, yeah. want, I want the tingles dude uh-huh. but um apparently the the fried rice is what won out the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Got that crab, bro. <laughs> yeah. I also like the the way that third gen did the, the fried rice a little bit more, right? Mm-hmm. Where they cooked the egg separately. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. First gen, it's still, it's still scrambled in, but it almost has like a, it's like a step away from golden fried rice, which I'm not a big fan of. Mm. I mean, like, yeah, usually fried rice, you just crack the egg in, in the wok, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 but like it has to be fully set before you introduce the rice, mm-hmm. right? Whereas mm-hmm. like they had the rice in first, and then they cooked the egg on the side, and they mixed it when it was still a little bit kind of runny, so like it kind of coats the mm-hmm. rice yeah, yeah. a little bit, you know. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's just when I want chahan, that's not what I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, th- I think I'd go for third gens because they same seemed like they had they had their dishes like more thought out. Because they're like, mm. oh, there's the salad. Please try the tofu oh, yeah. on the salad. And they're uh-huh. like, what? Yeah. Okay. Dope. Right. Mm-hmm. Is that a little dressing? And then they're like, how, how are we supposed to eat the horse, uh, Yoda? And she's like, oh, do it like if you were eating gyoza, bro. Just, you know. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Dip top, dude. <laughs> and then she, you know, had the yolk in the uh, on the thing. That's pretty unique too, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. See, that's, yeah, that's, that's the one I would have tried because it's just... Or, like, I would have, yeah, maybe not given it the win because I don't know what it tastes like. But as far as, like, the one that has my most interest, third gen for sure, mm-hmm. right? I think yeah, yeah. first gen, just, it's the classics, right? If you if you wanted mapo tofu and fried rice, it's that's that's there, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. now, now, if they had put gyoza, oh. actual gyoza on the side, whoever had the gyoza would have won, dude. Because that <laughs> mapo tofu, chahan, and gyoza, like, those Ooh. three... Mm-hmm. Oh. That's the winner. <laughs> so, this in chat says, wins. if you were the host, what would you make them cook for you? Ooh. I make them cook pho, dude, so they have to be there for, <laughs> for eight hours, dude. Just waiting for that <laughs> broth, broth to simmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, waiting. everybody. Welcome to Nogi Chu. We're still here. We're waiting on the broth. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm just in a fucking sleeping bag, dude. Just waiting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't um, know, nah, maybe probably some rice dish. Fried rice is one of my Ooh. favorite foods. I would wait. I want to <laughs> see them make southern fried chicken, dude. Oh, <laughs> I, I was thinking like make them make like a Texas barbecue set. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Josh wants to be there for even longer. <laughs> <laughs> even longer, dude. The twelve-hour yeah. brisket. <laughs> Let's go. Come back Got next my week. Shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, dude, some some buttermilk fried chicken, dude. From they, they only had uh, right thirty now. minutes for these, so mm-hmm. to be realistic, oh, so let's, let's make it under thirty minutes then. Like yeah, some, like two two items. What are two items? <sighs> like a little set. Mm. Oh, All right, I would make them do. Fried, it has to be, uh, yeah, like wings and fries. Wings and Ooh, fries. okay. And they can do it, uh, yeah. they can sauce it or flavor it however the wings, however they want. That's good, that's good. Present them how they want. And then like, yeah, the fries, you can do whatever you want with that, right? I'd go for mm. some some slider type thing. Oh. Ooh. And, and uh, something else, I don't know. <laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, oh. yeah, it has, it has to be something that goes together. I won't get, like... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 
right? It's just, yeah. So. Mm. And make them I, like I try something like just out of nowhere. Just be like, all right, today's theme is enchiladas. <laughs> Here you go. What the Wait, fuck what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't Google it. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the best ones I remember from Keakake was when um, Suzumon and Nagasawa kun went head to head and made their and then Suzumon made that tandoori chicken like bun thing. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That looks so good. That looks so and good. Then, yeah. And then Nagasawa kun made fucking uh. What is it? Uh, cheese dak kalbi, I think it was. And I like, I had to. I like, I looked <laughs> for a place to. Like, where can I get? Where can <laughs> I get <laughs> this? I remember, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think I. Dude, I, I, I literally. I, yeah, I, I, okay. eventually I, I had some, but like that was when I went. Like to Dallas, and we were looking for a place to eat. Like, oh, this Korean place looks good. I'm like, yes, they have yes. what I want. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So I literally, I literally have two tabs open right now. One is Chahan, and the other one is Cheese Duck Galbi, dude. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so hungry, bros. <laughs> Let's looks wrap so the good show how up. She dude. made it. Let's wrap the show up. Yeah, cause she she made it like in the like she put the cheese in the middle, the strip in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh man. But anyway, third gen <laughs> wins. Um, hey. I like how they uh they call Ikuta at the end because she had to leave for oh, yeah. another oh. job, and they're like Ikuta, you lost. <laughs> and she's like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> call me for this shit, dude. Uh-huh. Um, also, there was a performance of Machine Gun Rain. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's at Ranza cool. Center. Of the mm-hmm, Yonders. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Good shit. Good song. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, yeah, that's Nogi Chu. That's the end of the show. For this. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, make sure you drop a comment down below. Uh, what foods do you want to eat now? Because I'm so hungry that's all i can mm. think about or uh make sure you hit that sub button if you haven't already we're, we're so close to 2k let's get that josh box grab here or uh come hang out with us on twitch every tuesdays around 7 p.m pacific time uh when we record the live thing hang out with us during the pre-show the post-show and the little break in between that's gonna be it for us this week we'll see you guys next week peace bye